Good morning, everyone. Today we'll begin our session. It's about Unit 9, Lesson 1. So everyone, please bring your science book and be ready for doing our session. To start our session, I need you to only to open your science book, page 325, and to start following me. Okay, thank you. Everyone, please open your science book. Only turning the uh, the page on page 326 and 327, and write the date on the two pages. Everyone, please write the date on the two pages, page 326 and 327. Okay, thank you. So everyone please leave your pencil and follow me. Okay. If you look to this picture, what you will see? If you look to this picture, what you can see or or, or, or what can you or what you can observe on this picture? You will see the boy, the beaver, the scar, the pool, the table, the clock this bed, this fish, everything you will find on this bed, in, in this room. Okay. Everything that you can see in this room is called matter. Everything that you can see in this room is called matter. Matter. All of you will be the word after me. Matter matter okay so what is the matter the matter is anything that takes up space another time what is the matter the matter is anything that takes up space that's mean for example this boy take part from the space of this room so this boy is matter this pool take part from the space of this room so this pool is matter this table also take part from the space of this room so this table is also matter this is the same for the bed, for this car, for this table, for the fish, for everything in this room. And everything around you is also matter. All of you please repeat the words after me. Matter. 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 The matter as. Repeat after me. Matter as. Anything anything that that takes takes up up space space other time matter is 
anything that takes up space another time matter is anything that takes up space please repeat it Okay, thank you. These things are matter. Everything in this room is matter. Okay, if I come and ask you, cook, can you give me an example about the matter that you can see in this picture? Can you give me an example for the matter that you can see in this picture? Yes, of course. This boy is matter. This car is matter. This bed is matter. This table, this fish, and this table, the clock, the pole, the car, and this, every, this paper, this toy. Everything in this room is matter. Everything, everything, everything in this room. Called by matter. This word, matter. This word, matter. So everything, like the ear, like the bed, like the pole, like the table. If I ask you, can you give me an example about matter that you can find it around you, in your room, or whatever you are sitting in it? I want an example of the word matter around you, while you are sitting now. Excellent. Your science book is matter. Your pencil that you are holding it is also matter. You are matter. Your clothes is ma your clothes are matter. Everything around you matter. Everything, everything, whatever you think it can be, but it's called matter. So matter is anything that takes up space. If you look to your science book page 326 and 327, uh, please I need everyone to bring your, your pencil and be ready for following me. I will read this paragraph, then I will give you only two minutes or three minutes for reading this paragraph and you can read it very slowly. Uh, and if I will give you this two minutes, so I will start with you. Why matter matters? Look around. What do you see? Are they trees, toys, or books? These things are matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Even the air you breathe is matter. You can start reading. Thank you. For the active reading, the main idea is the most important idea about something. Draw two lines under the main idea. So everyone, with your pencil, follow me because we are doing the line now. If you look at this paragraph and you read it, you will find that all this paragraph is talking about only one word. It's talking about only one word. So what is the meaning of this word? This word is matter. So everyone, please make line on this sentence matter as anything that takes up space 
Matter is anything that takes up space. Matter is anything that takes up space. Make line. Okay, thank you. On the next page, look at the pool, this pool, look at the clock, this one, this clock, and looking at the boy, this boy. Draw an X on each thing that's matter on this book another time. Look at the pool, the clock, and the boy. Draw an X on each thing that's matter. This boy is matter. If this boy is matter, draw X on this boy. If this boy is matter, draw X on this boy. So, this boy is matter? Yes, of course, this boy is matter. So, with your pencil, you will draw X like that on the boy. Okay. For the next one, do you think this ball is matter? Yes, of course, this pole is matter, so we may draw X on this pole. And the last one. Do you think this clock is matter? Yes, of course, this clock is matter, so draw X on this clock. So, why this boy is matter? Because this boy take part from this piece. Why this pole is matter? Because this pole take part from the space. Why the clock is matter? Because the clock take part also from the space. So the clock, the pole and the boy are matter. All of them are matter. So the matters like the boy, the pole and the clock. All of them are matter. Not only the boy and the bull and the clock, not only them, but everything, everything in this room and everything around you are called matter. Everyone please turn the page on page. On this page, wait. On B 328, 329, and draw the date on the two pages. Everyone, please turn the page on B 328 and 329 and draw the date on the two pages. Okay, thank you. Please leave your pencil and follow me. If I ask you, what is the property of matter? What do you think the meaning of those words? Property. What is the property of matter? The property is part of what something is like. Property is part of one some of what something is like. Another time, property as a part of what something is like. So, the property of matter mean four things. The property of matter mean four things. The size of this matter, the shape of this matter,
the color of this matter and texture of this matter. Another time, repeat after me the word property. 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 Excellent, thank you. And repeat after me this four words size. 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 Shape. 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 Color. 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 And the last one texture. 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 Thank you. So the property of matter is a part of what something is like. For example, for example, the size of matter, the size of the matter, the matter can be very big like this elephant or can be very small like this mice. And another one, the size can be very big like this dog or can be very small like this cat. The size can be very big like this one or can be small like this one. The size of the matter can be very big like this elephant and can be very small like this another elephant this is for the word size the next word is shape shape the shape property the shape property what is the shape of the matter here we have many shapes of the matter we have many shapes of the matter it can be for example as you see in this picture star like this yellow star it can be hard it can be square it can be circle it can be triangle and it can be anything okay the third word as color property color property color color excellent so we have many colors we have too much colors the matter can have the yellow color or the red color or the blue color the green color the brown the purple the orange whatever the color so we have too much colors around us the last word we have is the word texture property texture property texture property the pr this matter can be something graph or hard like this rocks and it can be very soft like this toy matter the matter can be very soft like this one or it can be rough and hard like this rocks if you touch one rock from this one that you have it as your home or whatever you will find this rock as rough and something hard but if you touch this toy at your home you will find this toy is soft soft and this is rough 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 this one is rough and this one is soft so everyone we have four properties of the matter if i come and ask you for example for example what are the properties of your pencil your pencil that you are holding in your in, in your hands what are the properties of their pencils okay first you will see the size of the pencil your pencil is big or small your pencil your pencil is big or small okay what is the shape what is the shape of your pencil your pencil is circle or a square or it's long or short what is the shape of your pencil? Is long or short or circle or star or hard? Okay. What is the color of your pencil? What is the color of your pencil? Green, orange. What is the color of your pencil? And the last one. What is the texture of your pencil? What is the texture of your pencil? If you touch your pencil you find this pencil rough or soft 
If you touch your pencil, you will find this pencil is rough like the rocks or is soft like the toy. Okay, thank you. Everyone, please, I want this page to follow me. Uh, we already wrote the date on this two page, so everyone, please, try to follow me. I will read this paragraph and I then I will give you two minutes for reading this one. What is like? A property of matter is one part of what something is like. Some properties are size, shape, color, and texture. Texture, texture, is, po texture is what an object feels like. Texture is what an object feels like. That's mean the texture, you know it. Only with, with using your hand. If you want to know the texture of anything around you, you will use your hand and you will touch the thing. For example, for example, if you want to know the texture of your book, you will touch the book with your hand. And you can find it rough or you can find it soft. Another example, if you want to know the texture of your bag, if you want to know the texture of your bag, you will touch the bag with your hand. You will touch the bag with your hand. So you can find it soft or you can find it rough. Another example, if you want to know the texture of your, of your clothes that you are having now, you will touch your clothes and you will find this clothes rough or soft you know you will know only the texture with using only your hand you will know the texture using only your hands okay so everyone you will have two minutes for reading this paragraph Thank you. Here for the active reading. Find the sentence that tells the meaning of property. Draw a line under the sentence. Everyone, please bring your pencil and start. Here for the active reading. Find the sentence that tells the meaning of property. Draw a line under the property. Here, the line is already made. So you can use the pencil or you can use the highlighter to make this line. So you will make line a property of matter as one part of what something is like make line another time a property of matter as one part of what something is like you will make line on this sentence Another time, a property of matter as one part of what something is like. A property of matter is one part of what something is like. 
Okay, thank you. Here you have four boxes. That means the four boxes of the property. The property are four. The properties are four: size, shape, color, and texture. For this box, I will start reading. Then I will give you one minute for reading this small paragraph. Size, size, size. Big and small are words that tell about the size. Big and small are words that tell about size. You can read it. You can start now. Thank you. The next one is shape. 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 Star and heart are words that tell about the shape. Star and heart are words that tell about the shape. The star this shape and the heart this one. You can start reading this small paragraph. Thank you. The words color this box. Color. Color. Red and blue are words that tell about the color. Red and blue are words that tell about the color. This one is blue and these two pencils are red. You can start reading this paragraph. Thank you. The last one is texture. 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 Soft and hard are words that tell about texture. Soft and hard are words that tell about textures. You can start reading this paragraph. Okay, thank you. On this page and this box, in each box, draw an X on the object that does not belong. Another time, in each box, draw an X on the object that does not belong. That's mean, for example, on this box, about the size. This color is very big, and this color is small, and this color is small. So, here, what is the difference between them? Which color is different from the others? Here this car is big, this car is small, and this car is small. So, which one is different from the others? Excellent. So, with your pencil, you will make X on this car. 
with your pencils you will draw X on this car okay thank you the next one the shape the shape here we have this star we have this star and we have this is hard so star star and hard which one is different from the others which one is different from the others excellent this heart is the different so you will draw X with your pencil draw X on this heart excellent here for the color the color this one is red this one is blue and this one is red so which one is different from the others which one is different here yes of course this blue is the difference so with your hand uh, sorry with your pencils draw x on this blue pen or the blue marker with your pencil with your pencil draw X on this blue one okay for the texture this toy is hard this toy is soft and this toy is soft this toy is hard and something graph this toy is hard and something graph this toy is soft and this toy is soft so which one is different from the others yes of course this one this ladybug or this toy that's different so with your pencil make X on this one so we have the X on this very big car on this heart on this blue matter and on this the hard toy